Okay, so here is today's project. Uh, what we have here is the soundbar system that used to be upstairs on uh, my outdoor TV there. Um, I got this system from Woot, probably my favorite place to buy uh, junk. And I think I paid like 150 bucks for this thing. And it's great. It, the sound is, I would, I love the sound. The problem with it is the remote control is crap. It only is effective from about 10 feet away from the TV. And if you could see up here, you know, if we sit on our little day bed there, it doesn't have enough reach. So I've decided this is going to get uh, relegated to the new hot tub uh, sound system. And um, this thing can't sit out in the wild by itself. It needs a protective case or cover to, to shield it. And so that's what I'm going to make. Um, this is the location right here. All in here. This is where this sound bar is going to sit. I'll, I'll attempt to put it up here. You can go an idea so it's going to kind of sit up here in this this angle over here um this is uh the awning usually occupies this space right here but uh in conjunction with this project here i'm going to kind of make a let's say a water resistant area in and around and all around this area here and what that's going to consist of is uh, when the awning goes back on there is actually an aluminum hood that goes over the top and kind of um creates some waterproof there but then um, I'm also going to climb up this ladder here. I'm actually gonna put a, a piece of wood over here. A little string like, uh, what is it, 14 feet all the way to, uh, to the end. And so anything under here to out to about here should be somewhat water resistant. Um, I did a little work last weekend and I, uh, I put some uh, 110 up there. There's a fan that sits right here. So uh, the sound bar will, will mount up in here and uh, get powered, and that's where the uh, fan will get powered as well. So um, I'll make an enclosure for this and the sub. Uh, that's going to sit down in here. So I'll make a little box that, uh, that covers this. So let's get okay, started. Okay, so we're spitballing right here. And what I'm guessing is uh, I'm not sure how long this thing's going to live. So I'm going to make the enclosure just a little bit bigger than, uh, than the bar so that if this thing dies, I can get, you know, an off the shelf bar. I don't, I don't know this, uh, 43 inch bar right here, if that's standard, but when I've looked around they're right around 45 or, you know, 50 is a big bar. So, uh, I think that if I make this, uh, enclosure, um, fit in between, uh, the fence here, which is 60 inches across. Um, it'll do two things. I can create a mounting bracket on either side and um, like run a, a bolt through the through the post into the box that I'm going to make or the enclosure and then um, I can use those bolts or wing nuts to kind of like adjust this at the angle that I like and um, kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'll do the same thing with the sub box. I'll make it a little bit bigger so that if this thing uh, croaks on me I can throw another one that's equal the more maybe even a little yeah, bit got the basic shape together and i'm going to glue and finish down all right so this is what i came up with this is the box that the soundbar fits into with much room to spare this is the grill i'll put like a little hinge on here and um it'll have some of this uh expanded metal um you know the kind of the thin metal that has the little tiny holes in it typical speaker grill stuff i got some laying around here so I'll put that on, but um, before I do any of that, it, all these little uh, wood chips and um, there's kind of little holes and stuff you can see in the in the wood. I'll, I'll wood putty that and kind of finish it, and then I'll take it to the uh, Rhino liner. So it'll have that um, bed liner material sprayed on it, and it, it really waterproofs it. So I'll start on the sub box now. So here is the sub box cover, and I've already figured out that I want to redo this. Um, the original design was going to have the expanded metal in here. Um, and I think that's going to just not work out to be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a, a routered, um, hole right here on all four corners so that the, uh, the sub base can get out. And, uh, that way I can close off this bottom here because, I figured no matter how far down and, and tight it kind of seals down here, it's going to become a, a critter hotel. So 
Okay, so this is what I ended up with, and I like the look of this much better. I put holes on three sides, so the back side is where the fence of the hot tub area is going to be, so sound can come out on three sides. That'll be just fine, and um, I'm on the hunt for some expanded grill metal. This will be the mesh that goes in all these holes here, and then I will bed liner the... Uh, the wood. I saw that Sem and Amazon has a uh, highly rated Raptor uh, kit. It's about 120 bucks or something. Comes with a gun for enough to do an entire bed. So it doesn't look like it, but there's a lot of, you know, to do's and corners and little. So I think one bed liner kit with four cans will get the trick done. And then once that's done, I'll, uh, I'll get a hinge for this. So this will flop open and then the the sound bar, which is over there, will will slide right in there, and I'll drill some holes for the uh, power to come in and out of, and we'll get it mounted up.